The residency programs fair has grown exponentially since I've joined. It started out just in the teens with programs. Now, last year we had about 20 programs, this year 28 different programs from all across California, mainly in the Central Valley, but we'll continue to expand and innovate with our partners in the GME realm. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity for all medical students, whether you're a first year, second year, third year, fourth year, you ask any medical student or resident, the biggest thing we have going for us is our network. Whether you're networking with residents or attendings or program directors like we're going to be doing today, that building that network is going to propel you to directions that you didn't think were possible. Uh, you know, the age old saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. That is very much relevant in the field of medicine. And also you kind of get to learn about what programs are about, right? Uh, what, what their resident lifestyles are like, what they look for in applicants, um, and what kind of different specialties they have, uh, other residency programs as well. So I think that's really cool and it's a very important aspect for us medical students applying to residencies. We look at all that very holistically uh, when we submit our ERAS applications going forward. So I recently applied to residency programs here in the Valley and I was really thankful to Dr. Chung and Dr. Briga for you know having so many people come here and I got to network with local residency here. Potentially I would want to stay here so it was a great experience coming here and talking to everyone from the Valley and seeing how they have the same mission as I have to serve the people of the Central Valley. I've applied to at least a handful of the programs that are here today and I wanted to at least like to have them see my face. Um, I, I know some of the places I've been to and some of the places I was supposed to go to and I couldn't make it. And I wanted those places especially to be able to see my face and like get to know me. So I can hopefully, you know, have a good impression and interview with them and just set the right tone. I got chills when I saw our alumni walking in and a lot of them are doing fantastic. Uh, hearing from program directors specifically, I'm on texting basis with them and getting to see them come back and mentor our upcoming students. Is this really heartwarming? So I'm very happy to be back here in CHSU. We're here for the residency fair that they're having. All the beautiful residents, uh, residency programs. Our program wanted to come out here, try to talk to the students, try to see if they're interested in internal medicine, if they're interested in staying in the valley. Our program really wants to keep students from the valley, train doctors, and really give back to our community. So being on the other side of the table, I remember last year coming to the residency fair, uh, going around booths and talking to different programs, and now I'm on the other side talking with uh, different students, so it's definitely different, but I'm glad to represent my program and uh, uh, want to help the future generation to come. I want to thank all the residency programs that were able to make it today to our residency fair. I do really much feel the energy in the room, uh, the collaboration, the warmth that we're emitting amongst each other and the students. So uh, just being thankful and mindful for their time and grateful for their time.